Today, I'd like to share with you an art quilting technique that I call parchment paper collaging with freezer paper. I'm going to hold up the steps that I use and give you an opportunity for a screenshot, and I'll hold this up again at the end. These are the steps that can help you be successful with this. All right, let's get started. So today I've decided to use just a simple uh, piece. It's a flower. And the first step after you've drawn the piece or you have a picture of it, and I put this on just plain paper. Sometimes I draw it directly on parchment paper, but I wanted to show you that with parchment paper, you can easily trace it. So if I were to go and trace this on parchment paper, I don't have to follow the lines exactly, but just to give a general representation of my picture. So we'll go around all the elements of the picture. And if it were a little more difficult picture, then it would be more necessary to have this drawn on the parchment paper so you could recreate it. So there we go. I'm going to set this aside and use it later. Now, I have to have freezer paper, and I'm putting this waxy side down because we're going to put the waxy side as we press down. We don't want to get it on the iron. Now for this, I need an outline because I have an element of a flower. I don't need to do the precise drawing on the inside just so I can get something to cut around. And I'm going to move the uh, picture aside so that I can get the center off by itself. I'll put the stem over here and I'm going to make extend it a little longer because the stem will be tucked under some of the other elements and then I'm going to draw two leaves. Now the beauty of this paper is that you can use freezer paper a couple of times to make template stencils and use them over again. The more expensive freezer paper that you would buy in sewing stores, you can use a few more times. The lesser expensive, like this from the grocery store, less times, but sometimes I don't need to use it over and over again. So I have all of my elements on freezer paper. The next step would be to cut out each one of these elements, rough cut. You don't want to cut it exactly. You want to cut it just generally out with a quarter inch with the edge a quarter inch. Now I won't take the time to do that right now. Um, I'll just, I have a set already cut out for you. And I have over here each of the fabrics that I want to use. I have pre-backed them with Wonder Under, so there's an adhesive surface on the back. And you press waxy side down, your drawing side up, you press each one of these elements just with a three to five second press and so on. So you press these down and I'd have to do it just a little bit longer. The next step would be to cut each one of these elements out right next or on the line. For this, I'll get my um, better scissors because I'm cutting fabric. A little bit of a dilemma because I have, um, oops, I don't need to cut that parchment paper. And I would cut around there, right on the line or as closely as I could come to it for this step. And once I've done that with all of the elements, I have a little extra set here, all cut out. I have all of the elements cut out, I'm ready to go. I go back to that original parchment paper. The beauty of parchment paper is that you can press on it and then take this off. <laughs> now 
if I wanted to line this up perfectly, I could turn this around and around until I figured out exactly where I wanted to put it. It's not all that important for this simple flower, but I could do that, and that's why I've drawn the picture, and that's most closely aligned. I tuck my stem under, I add a couple of leaves, I can decide if I wanted one leaf up, one leaf down, or just the way I drew the original picture. I take my center, which I know to be there, and then I can press this right atop the parchment paper. So now this whole flower is collaged together and I'll let it cool just for a few seconds and then I can remove it and later I can place this flower anywhere on my art quilt and it's all pieced together. I don't have to worry about it not being just the way that I want it. It's already um, set to pull off. Now it's a little more delicate right here so I'm going to peel from the top toward the delicate part and I can pull it right off and it's ready to go and ready to be placed on the art quilt. So it's really pretty genius to do parchment paper collaging. Now this is simple and I have for you um, some parchment paper collaging that I did without freezer paper of some female cardinals. So you can get much more technical and then you can just peel these off like a band-aid and they're ready to go. So I'm going to hold up the directions again for parchment paper collaging with freezer paper. I hope this helps you on your journey as an art quilter. Dr. Susan Krasinski, art quilter from Muskegon, Michigan.